Now the last update was kinda very big, we have received a new map, new story and two new characters. Now I have covered the orange character last time and now it will be time to take a look at the purple one. Now this is a totally new character, which uh, honestly is always refreshing to see and I kinda like the balance that they did. The, the orange one is the thick one. The the perp one is the cute one, I would say. Uh, both characters are really well designed. And they definitely did a very good job from the last open beta. Now, let's take a look at the character stats. So this is Sirius, or well, they could have called her Sirius, uh, would be a very good name. But Sirius is also quite interesting. 18,200... 8,356 total uh, hit points, 1,591 is the attack, defense 723. And here you can take a look at the other stats if you like, I'll be covering the weapon very soon. Now, the recommended equipment, she is using a shotgun, mechanized cut is the perp one, it does kinetic damage, 28 attack, rate of fire 120, ammo capacity 1, compatibility 34.64, reload speed 1.62. Police support, increase reload speed by 10%, when defeating an enemy there is a 10% chance to replenish 1 bullet. Ok, that's interesting. As for the logistics, she is using the... Turbador squad, 2 officers increase the ability damage by 16%, 3 officers increase kinetic and chaos type of ballistic damage by 32%. Which is honestly uh, a very nice uh, thing to have. Now onto the advanced equipment. Tiny Grains is her primary weapon, does kinetic damage, 34 attack. 60 rate of fire, ammo capacity 7, compatibility 23.78, reload speed 2.62. As for the logistics, she is using the Shinya squad, 2 officers increase maximum energy of full squad by 32, 3 officers increase energy recovery of full squad by 28% after the equipment, after equipping operative uses the ultimate skill, recovers 20% of energy consumed. Now the active skill of the weapon increase attack by 18% after taking damage, decrease the movement speed of enemies targets of enemy targets within 5 meters by 50% and increase their damage taken by 9.6% and it lasts for 3 seconds. Overall, pretty interesting. Now let's take a look at the skills. Initial cough in cooldown 15 seconds. S energy cost 30. Sirius creates an initial blessing around herself, reducing damage taken by 25% and improving her anti interruption ability. If Sirius dodges while initial bless is active, gains reborn eye effect, applying aptitude of bone eater to her next shot, adds kinetic damage to her shot. Initial blast in duration 10 seconds, bone eater aptitude damage 10% of Sirius attack plus 40. I also have some normal skills, when equipped with a kinetic weapon, increase the aptitude damage of Bonitor Delta shields by 50%. When initial... oops, uh, let me go back to, to the skills here. When initial blasting turns into Reborn Eye series, instantly reloads one bullet. Next one is Boundary Guard, normal skills, decreases protection, decrease the movement speed of Decreased protection, uh, decreased the movement speed of targets within 2.5 meters by 50%. Increases the, EO, uh, the area effect, decreased protection by 50%. Cool on 20 seconds, as energy cost 30. Series deploys the cease protection, the cease protection, that's a lot of names to have to remember here, to a fixed location in front of her blocking enemy fire. The cease protection duration 15 seconds, damage absorbed by the cease protection. 90% of Sirius maximum hit points plus 344. Night of Revival, 50 second cooldown, and energy cost 60. 
Sirius creates a birth dome protecting herself and repelling surrounding enemies when birth dome is in effect increases protection protected operative's movement by 20%, reduces damage taken by 20% and improves anti-interruption ability. Birth dome duration 10 seconds, damage absorbed by birth dome 56% of series max hit points plus 376. Normal skills when birth dome disappears restores HP to the protected operative equal to 20% of the remaining shield. Birth dome simultaneously protects all operatives. Which is, you know, very nice and very good to have. Untimely Demise, there was alignment. Each time any operative uses a skill, increases Sirius uh, max hit points by 0.5%, increasing an additional 0.1% for each 100 alignment index. Maximum 30 stacks. That was uh, quite a lengthy skill description of the weapon that I have is the neon tube. This is basically the only uh, purple, well actually one of the only purple uh, shotguns that I have. And it is doing chaos damage. Don't have her weapon yet but I might get it at one point. The weapon is at level 50. I also have unlocked something. A weapon part. Okay I'll be I'll be modifying that uh, right now, I think. Yeah, let's just equip this. There we go. Nice. Now, shotguns have short range, uh, but very good damage. So, it's very satisfying to use them. And they're very good for co-ops, as you will see in the uh, in combat. 50 meter is the optimal, and the falloff is up to 30 meters, which is nice. Very good range for a shotgun. As for the logistics, I have the Shinya squads, and it is uh, it is not not maxed out, but you know, uh, working towards that. It's important to have the logistics already in place and the manifestation. Now, let's take a look. Now I have the character quite leveled up. I was quite lucky to get some some parts, and let's see what the effects do give. Birth sequence when disease protection ends, the operative on the field obtains initial blessing for 5 seconds, initial blessing gained. This way does not obtain a reborn eye effect when dodging. Alright. Next one is clearance. Any operative shooting through disease protection have a 30% chance to obtain absolute effect of bone eater. Okay. Harmony arrives. Disease protection can absorb additional damage equal to 50% of series maximum hit points. Timeless. Initial coffin skill level plus 1. Increase the damage of aptitude effect to 11% of series attack plus 42. And the last one. End of night. Disease protection no longer has a time limit. Only ending when it absorbs too much damage and breaks. Overall, pretty interesting stats. And now the Neuronics. So, we're working on leveling up the character, I have focused on damage, heal and basically ammunition. And here you can take a look at the effects. So far, it's been doing really well and I'm kind of happy with the, with the results. Of course, as time goes on and as I keep upgrading, the neural skills will be also upgraded and definitely looking forward to see how it will uh, be in the end. So this is a tank type, support type character, which means it should be quite interesting to see how she will perform in combat. And well, let's let's do some combat. Let's see what she can do. All right, time to start with the boss battles. Now, usually the characters in this game can serve both as a DPS and support. It really does depend on the on skills. Now, Ceres seems to be more of a tank type character, a support type character, and I honestly really do like that. Uh, so far, the supports in some of the other games uh, have had a very similar role, and I'm actually kind of very happy that uh, this game also has characters like that as well. Now, 
As for the DPS part, the shotgun does do plenty of damage. However, I would say some of the other shotgun users uh, seem to be doing a bit more damage. After all, they are kinda specialized for damage, while this character is kinda specialized for support and spe specialized for for tanking. Now she has a lot of uh, a lot of hit points and. The overall skills with my current setup seem to be working really well in the support aspect. Absolutely no complaints about the the tank aspect, which is interesting. Uh, as for the team, now she can be matched with basically any team that that you have. You can match her with uh, with my current team and use. The new character, the other uh, orange new character for DPS. Meanwhile, you can use the char this character for basically defense. In co op, a support character is definitely very important, especially since there are, there's, be, there's going to be some co op battles that are kind of difficult uh, since you might be fighting. A lot of uh, a lot of different targets, and your teammates might be uh, having some trouble with the with the enemies. Now, I usually, as you will see, uh, I'll be trying to place. I'll basically be trying to take most of the damage in the in the co-ops, uh, so that my team can do most of the of the damage. However, doesn't really go according to plan all the time. Sometimes it goes, you know, sometimes it, go, it goes wrong, but uh, the character has been working really well. And the first boss battle is slowly coming to an end. The performance was, it's okay. Does some good damage, of course, I don't have the, I don't have the right to weapon. Uh, this is a chaos type shotgun, not a kinetic shotgun. If she had a kinetic shotgun, she would probably be doing a bit more damage. But you know, gotta work with what I have, so for now the chaos shotgun is going to work really well. Now the second boss battle. Uh, the first one was actually quite easy. Shotguns have a very good uh, used to break parts and they do break parts much more efficiently than some of the other weapons in the game. So when you're fighting a boss that has multiple breakable parts then she is going to be doing a very good job at breaking them. Now against bosses that don't have a breakable part, well you can still use the character but it definitely will take some time to to go through uh, through the boss battle. Now this boss has a shield, and this character can be really good at breaking shields. Now the thing is, in order for me to break shields, I need to get a kinetic shotgun. With my previous character, I kind of solved the problem by going with a, a blue weapon, basically a blue electric weapon, which th did uh, enhance the overall performance in the end, but since I didn't really have a kinetic shotgun uh, that I can use and I kind of did not want to use materials for a blue weapon since I do plan to get a, a orange one for some of the characters. However, I noticed the blue weapons also working really well. Surprisingly actually, uh, the, the blue weapons seem to be working really well for some characters, but for, but at, at the same time uh, I don't want to waste too much materials to upgrade the weapons and I would like to save up for for orange or purple, uh, since they seem to be... I mean, they're definitely the, the best, uh, but the blue ones are also a very good alternative that that I do use on some of my best 
characters and so far it's been working really well. Okay, well, this boss battle is definitely not my favorite. So I have some bosses that are just very fun to, to fight and there are some bosses that that are just kind of, you know, uh, not, not troublesome but but some bosses that are just a little bit tricky to fight and this is just one of those bosses however it does some I do some pretty good damage to the boss now I usually try to aim uh, for the maximum possible damage and with shotguns missing the target is not that well not that easy since you know shotguns have a good spread and so far shotguns have a very nice feel to them uh, it really is a very satisfying to use shotguns in the game and I think they did a very good job with that. Would definitely be doing a lot more damage if I had the kinetic shotgun. So, yeah. Now, her ultimate uh, is really interesting. Uh, it does recover health since I have the, the attribute unlocked. And it also does give a shield which lasts for a couple seconds. If you have the manifestation level maxed out on the character, then the shield will last basically permanently, which honestly is interesting. If the game does get PvP at one point, I can't see this character being really good, since you might be able to tank all the damage that other characters will be will be doing and of course this game does re uh, rely on skill a lot and it seems like shotguns do a lot of damage I can kinda see the the shotguns be very fun for PvP and especially if they add some uh, some more different mechanics for PvP as some of the other games have. Now luckily uh, I can just hide in a corner and wait for the explosion to pass but I could also technically tank the the explosion with, with her ultimate. Now the, the ultimate can be very useful when uh, placed in a situation where you definitely will be taking a hit so she can easily absorb all that damage. If you are a little bit clumsy with the with the evasion, then uh, that's definitely going to be a very, very useful. And if you match her with a healer and a DPS, you can get a very interesting team. Now, throughout this battle and throughout this video, I'll be trying to use the character as much as possible, since after all, this is a video for the character, so. I might just go and show you what uh, what she can do, and so far it's doing pretty well. The, the performance is really good so far. Now, of course, uh, the boss battle would be much faster if her skills were uh, skills that were designed to do damage, but this is one of the characters whose skills are not going to do any damage. Those are the skills that she has are support skills and you have to rely on your weapon to do the damage. Which honestly is fine. It means that you will probably be missing out on some of the DPS if you are using the character as the DPS. But that's fine. Since she still can get the job done without a problem. And the uh, good thing about the challenge in, the, in this game, you can pick to have no time of it. Basically, you can take your time with killing the boss, which is awesome. And it means you can easily use the character as your main character for a boss battle, if you like, of course. In my case, I think I'll be using her as a tank support in co-op and as a support in the in the boss battles as well since you know that's just what I think is the 
Well, not, not the best thing, but I, I feel like that's just how it will work the best for me. And the boss battle is over. That was actually very nice. Now let me show you what she can do in in the co-op battles. The co-op in the game is honestly very fun. And definitely looking forward for more co-ops and different maps. So far, as I already mentioned, it's been amazing and I have no complaints about the co-op. It's, it's awesome. Alright, let's see uh, how she will work in a co-op environment. Now, I did do a practice run and from my personal experience, it does run well. But let me show you in a in a battle here. Now my internet, uh, my internet is, as you guys already probably know, uh, not that good. And I think you will see uh, the the delay here in a second when I start shooting. But yeah, now my goal here as a support character is to basically keep my team alive and, if possible, take uh, as much damage for the team as. Uh, I can without dying, of course. It's always nice to have a very good support, and in in games like this, having a having a tank is always a good idea, especially when fighting with different bosses. And I believe in the future, down the road, there are going to be some of the co-op maps that will definitely require to have a tank on your team or at least a healer or a support. Now this character does fulfill that uh, tank role and support role really well so I have no complaints about that whatsoever. And she is using a shotgun which means you can break parts so besides supporting uh, Besides supporting your team by giving buffs and basically taking all damage, you can support the team by making it easier for your team to do their maximum potential damage by stunning the boss, breaking the parts on the boss and things like that. Which does uh, further add to the combat role that she can fulfill. Now where is my team? Oh, they are fighting with the mini boss. Okay. Now with a better internet, I'm able to uh, evade really well. But with this pain that I'm currently having, it is kind of difficult. So, yeah, my apologies for the for the pain. I'm actually very happy with the with the damage that I am doing here. And uh, now this shotgun is obviously not the best, but it is not the worst. It does get the job done really well. And it feels really fun to to play with the shotgun. I think my f my favorite weapon type in the game has to be the rifle and the pistol. The pistols feel really good when uh, you when you get a feel on how to play with them, since the pistols can be quite quite clumsy, especially the high caliber revolvers, they, they have that huge kick to them, and if you miss, you are basically not going to do any damage. And they also rely on accuracy, you have to uh, aim for the weak spots, which with shotguns, you don't have to really aim that much, since the spread just goes e everywhere, and and the damage is still really high. It, it only matters that you aim around the car, around the enemy, basically. Okay, let me get some buffs here. Now, usually when I'm when, I, when I'm picking up buffs, I try to focus on uh, on damage, and in some cases at health. It really depends on uh, what role I have. If I am playing as a DPS, then I'm definitely going with a more DPS type buff. But if I'm a support tank and healer, I'm definitely going to enhance the character's overall health and other support skills. But sometimes you just can't really 
choose so always pick the the buff that you think will work the best for the given situation now what are these guys doing looks like yeah looks like one of, one of them is stuck at the at the market there oh okay not anymore You have to remember that there is no unlimited time. Uh, you have to try to complete the co-op within the given time. Uh, if you don't, well, the, the, the stage will fail. Now, I, I don't really like that the co-op is limited, but at the same time, I kind of see why it is limited. So, yeah, if they would increase the time to, let's say, 20 minutes, I, I would say that would be ideal, but for now, the current time limit has to do, I guess. Now this shotgun has some very good range. Now I know there is like a lot of different, uh, a lot of different type weapon types and shotgun types in the game. The single shot shotguns have a huge spread, but they do a lot of damage. We have to get one of those to see how they work. I used to have one when the game was in the closed beta tests and I loved it. However now, when the game is launched, I don't think I have uh, a weapon like that, unfortunately, which is fine. It means that... it just means that I just have to get the weapon uh, when I can. Now that's a lot of enemies. I'm trying my best to help as much as possible now this angel has to die now there are some some titans I call them angels or uh, titans titan angel it's the same thing in the end there are some titans that are really dangerous this is one of them it literally is flying all over the place and it spams skills at you so it has to be a priority target Now that feels nice when the shotgun does reload a little bit faster or when it does shoot a little bit faster. Okay, nice. I mean, I'm doing some really good damage. Really like how much damage this shotgun is doing. would be much better if I had if I had a kinetic one but unfortunately <laughs> I didn't get uh, I didn't get that it's kind of weird because I'm usually trying to save up for a new character although we have like 40 days until the next patch or something so we have a lot of time to basically get enough of the materials in order to get a new weapon or the new character but I feel like getting a new character is my priority here and then the, the weapon comes second. Since I figured out the blue weapon seems to be working really well and as long as it works well I'm not going to complain. Although a purple weapon or a or even the the orange one is definitely going to be much well I say much better but I, I feel like there is going to be a difference. <laughs> And now let's go and let's defeat the boss. That should be fun. No, honestly, it's been a pretty solid run so far. Uh, I'm all, I'm very impressed by the character performance. They definitely did a good job to make the character really fun to play and really playable. Although, uh, although the thick one is definitely the orange one. Still kind of joking around saying that this game will slowly have the same character models as, as some of the other games that I used to play. That, well, actually, I didn't used to play, but uh, some of the games that I follow, that I kind of follow, since the art style is top-notch, and this game is kind of, well, I, I don't say that it's going to happen, but, you know, it might happen. So far, the 
the art in this game does remind me quite a bit on Curry Raven. That game was that game was so fun. And the boss is almost defeated. We are doing some good damage. That's very nice. I think a support character does help a lot. Definitely, I think I definitely made this boss a little bit easier. I think. But yeah, that was a, that was a very nice one actually. That was a very nice run. All right. Well, again, this this character is very fun. Uh, this. This new update was awesome. We have received two two new fantastic characters that are very unique and overall very very fun to play. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I could help you. Let me explain how the character works and uh, hope that the guide, this guy can uh, help you at playing the game a bit. I hope a bit a bit better. So with that being said, if you want to support me, feel free to like and subscribe. And with that being said, stay safe. And I'll see you next time.